Hatimi was a boy of 12 years old, living with his parents, Bolaji and Mama Amira, in a modest neighborhood. Neither poor nor rich, their family led a simple life, but Timi faced constant ridicule from his playmates. Timi, you can't read dull head, his playmates would mock, laughing and making jest at him. Timi, always with a ready response, would retort, Everyone must not be brilliant, so leave me alone. At least I know how to write my name. Their laughter would echo even louder, but Timmy had learned to brush it off. Timmy's aversion to reading was well known. When asked to study, he would shrug and say, The exam is not near, so there is no need. Books bored him, but he had an insatiable curiosity about electronics. Left alone at home, he would dismantle every electronic device he could find, eager to uncover the secrets within. Bolaji, Timi's father, quickly noticed his son's curiosity. One night, he shared his thoughts with Mama Amira. I think Timi has a knack for understanding how things work. Maybe we should consider stopping his schooling and let him learn a skill like electric engineering from our neighbor down the street, Bolaji suggested. Mama Amira's response was swift and fierce. Never. Just because you didn't go to school doesn't mean our son won't. If you want to punish anyone for not sending you to school, go and punish your late parents. Don't you dare suggest that our son quit school for such nonsense. But Timi is not doing well in school, Bolaji insisted. Who cares? He will improve when the time is right, Mama Amira retorted. The argument escalated into a heated exchange, forcing Bolaji to leave the room in frustration. The next day, while everyone was out, Timmy managed to fix his father's radio, which had been broken for months. By the time his parents returned home, the house was filled with disco music, and Timmy was dancing to the beat. Bolaji was stunned. How come? Isn't that the radio the repairman said was beyond repair? How did you do it, Timmy? Mama Amira was silent, but Bolaji's face beamed with pride. I said it, Mama Amira. Look, our boy just fixed this radio. This should be a reason for him to focus on his talent. Despite his struggles with academics, Timmy's talent for fixing things began to flourish. He started repairing his friend's broken phones and other gadgets, earning their admiration and some pocket money. However, his school performance continued to decline. One day, Timmy was asked to call his parents to school. The teacher, with a concerned look, told them, Your boy is not doing well in his studies. I'm not sure if he will be promoted to the next class with his mates. Mama Amira pleaded with the teacher, Please do whatever it takes to promote my son. I want him to finish his formal education. Reluctantly, the teacher agreed, but it was clear that something needed to change. Bolaji decided it was time to take action. He enrolled Timi in an apprenticeship with the neighborhood electronics repairman. Initially, Mama Amira was against it, but she eventually saw the wisdom in her husband's decision. Under the guidance of his mentor, Timi excelled. Within a few months, he became proficient in repairing all kinds of electronic devices. His boss cherished him, often praising his quick learning and dedication. When it was time for Timmy to move to the city for further studies, his boss was both proud and emotional. You've been like a son to me, Timmy. May you continue to excel in everything you do. He blessed him with tearful eyes. Timmy managed to finish secondary school and proceeded to the university, where he studied engineering. His practical skills gave him an edge and he quickly picked up the theoretical aspects. He made money by solving assignments and teaching his peers his repair skills. People were astonished by Timmy's sudden academic excellence. He transformed from the dull boy to a top-performing student. His parents, especially Mama Amira, couldn't be prouder. Upon graduation, Timmy returned home, his degree in mechanical engineering clutched in his hand. I'm proud of you, my son, Bolaji said, tears in his eyes. Mama Amira, not missing the opportunity, added, If not for me, 
Would Timmy have ever been to school? The argument started again, but Timmy interrupted. That's enough now. Your boy is a big boy now, and also a graduate with first-class honours in mechanical engineering. I even have a scholarship to fly to Canada for my master's degree. Tears of joy streamed down his parents' faces as they embraced their only son, proud of his journey and his achievements. With a first-class degree in mechanical engineering and a scholarship for a master's programme in Canada, Timmy's life was on an upward trajectory. His parents, Bolaji and Mama Amira, were bursting with pride as they saw their son off at the airport. Their eyes filled with tears of joy and anticipation for what the future held for him. In Canada, Timmy immersed himself in his studies. His background in practical electronics repair set him apart from his peers. Professors were impressed by his hands-on knowledge and his ability to grasp complex theories quickly. Timmy excelled academically, but he never forgot his roots 